Hey guys, it's Adrian over BHA here bringing you another video. Uh, first one of the new year here in 2019. Uh, so we are uh, off to a slow start, but uh, hopefully things will pick up here and I'll start getting some more videos out a little quicker. Uh, this video is basically how to set up your Home Assistant configuration uh, directory. So basically you can access it from anywhere, uh, like from a Windows machine or Mac or anything else. Uh, and be able to uh, edit files in there, uh, move files in there, take files out, whatever you want to do. It's pretty cool. Um, not uh, everybody will need this video just because uh, I'm sure a lot of people already know how to set up network shares. But if you don't, uh, or if you're uh, curious on how to uh, set this up, this will definitely get you going. So let's do a quick run through of everything we're going to cover in this video. Basically, for starters, on my machine running Home Assistant, I need to install Samba. Uh, once we do that, we're going to set up a uh, username and password to use with Samba or SMB. Once that's done, we will uh, edit our smb.conf file. And then lastly, uh, we will just access it from another machine, kind of show you how that works. So let's get started. All right, so first things first, of course, we need to install Samba. Uh, so let's go ahead and do a sudo apt update just to pull down all the latest uh, available software. Uh, once we do that, we will go ahead and do a sudo apt install Samba. Now, as you can see, I've already got it installed, so it didn't really do anything to install it. If you didn't have it installed, of course, it will run through the install there. It'll take a little bit longer, probably. Once we have that installed, we're ready to move on to the next step. All right, so usernames and passwords for uh, Samba network shares are, uh, are a little different. They're not the same username and password necessarily that you use to log into your machine. So you have to create a whole new uh, username and password. So to do that, we basically will do a sudo smb passwd dash a and then list out the username. My username, of course, so I'm just going to use Adrian. You can use whatever you want. And it will prompt you for a password to uh, set up this account for the first time. Uh, you'll retype it in once you've typed it in the first time. After that, you are done and ready to move on to the next step. All right, so you can set up network shares for pretty much anything you want. Um, again, for, the, for this tutorial, we already have our Home Assistant configuration directory already set up. Uh, just to kind of give you an idea of what I'm talking about here, uh, do an LS. Uh, my home assistant configuration directory is in a uh, in the root of my home directory, and it's home underscore assistant. We'll do an ls here. As you can see, there's all of my home assistant config files and everything. So this is the directory that we are going to set up as a, a network share. So in order to do that, we need to edit our smb.conf file. Now this is in etsy slash samba. So we'll basically do a sudo vi slash etsy slash samba slash smb.conf. And we're going to look for a place down here at the very bottom. As you can see, I already have one set up for a, a, a media directory that I use with uh, my Plex uh, server. But here we're going to go ahead and we're going to make a second one. We're going to call it has. And of course, the path was uh, slash home slash Adrian slash home underscore assistant. That's where my uh, directory is stored. Valid users. Uh, that's going to be the user that we just created. So, of course, uh, we had Adrian. So we'll put that in there. And then lastly, I'm going to say read only is equal to no. 
This will allow me to be able to edit files remotely and add stuff to the directory and uh, delete stuff out of the directory if I want. If you only want to be able to view the files and you don't want to uh, have write permissions, you can set read only to yes. And then you should be able to access the things in the directory, but you won't be able to modify them or uh, remove them or anything like that. Once all that's done, we're going to go ahead and save that. All right, so uh, last step uh, to get this up and running is to basically restart our um, Samba server or SMB server. Uh, so we'll do a sudo service SMBD restart. Give that a second to come back up. And that's all we need to do. All right, so here I am on my Mac, and we just want to try to access this network share that we just set up uh, to kind of show you how that works. Uh, so on the Mac side, of course, you're gonna connect to server. Uh, we'll do SMB colon slash slash, and then the IP address of my uh, machine, which is 10.10.10.8. Hit enter on that. It's gonna say you're attempting to connect to a server. Say connect going to prompt me for a username and password. And that's going to be that username that we set up earlier. Type that in, hit enter. And as you can see, remember we had uh, a share already set up uh, for my Plex Media. And then has is the new one that we just created. So we'll go ahead and select that. And here it is. Uh, you can see all the different files and stuff in there that I had in my Home Assistant config directory. That's it, guys. It is that simple to set up a network share on uh, on a Linux-based machine, uh, specifically one that we have here running Home Assistant. And this will be in place if we restart the machine and it comes back up. This is already in the config directory, so we won't need to make any additional changes there. Everything should be uh, should work all the time. That's the end of the video, guys. Uh, as you can see, pretty easy to set up. Not a lot to it. Um, definitely uh, something that you might want to look into if you like to access your files remotely and you're not a uh, CLI junkie like I am, so you prefer the GUI of like Windows or Mac to access it, then this will certainly make it easier for you guys. So let's do a quick run through of everything we covered in this video. Again, for starters, we just installed Samba. Uh, once we did that, we set up our username and password for our uh, network share. After that was done, we edited our smb.conf file uh, to create the new network share. And then, of course, lastly, I kind of showed you what that looked like in action. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. If you liked the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. And as always, if there are any videos out there that you'd like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I will see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks a lot.